And go. Wow, I'm zany. I'm wacky. I'm a comedian, that everyone. Was, that was pretty good. Wow. Uh, I did that. Um, it was my it was my birthday. There's a there's a really how do I even introduce? It was my birthday. Mm-hmm. And my family and I were out to dinner. There's this place in Phoenix, Arizona that I highly recommend called Rustler's Roost. It's like country style. It's up on a mountain. Epic views. I, you can eat rattlesnake there. Mm. They what? Uh, uh, big burgers and shit. It's fucking awesome. And I, I it's my birthday. I get a little drunk and I'm just with my family. And I don't usually do that with my family. And there's like this little balcony area. And I just start doing the Conor McGregor walk thing. I, I don't have enough room to do it properly. And I just turn around and there's like literally people like taking videos of me, like drunkenly in front of my family, <laughs> Conor McGregor walking. What the fuck? <laughs> on the parking lot of Wrestler's Roost. What? So I'm, the- I'm on like a video. I'm on someone's like video feed. Yeah, somewhere. you're on someone's like Snapchat story or something. Yeah. I, I have. A novelty license plate that I look up on. I Google my own license plate all the time because it will be posted. I don't want to post it myself, but someone will eventually post it. I know they will. Yeah, I know they will post yeah. it. And I'm waiting to find my own license plate uploaded by someone else online. Yeah, I, I, I think that, um, dude, that your camera's filter- off. Oh, the- what happened? It's part of the story, what you're about to say. No, it's not part of the story. Okay, wait, right, before, we, before, 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 before we continue, before we continue, um, uh, I just want to say, if we do do something with it, cut this out. Uh, if we don't, uh, we just lost an episode for the first time ever. Claps in the chat. It took 13 episodes. 12, I guess. Um, we lost an episode. This is my girlfriend, Alexis. Uh, she cleaned my shit off the floor. We talked about that. She cleaned the shit off the. Or she told me to clean the shit off the toilet. Talk about that. True. Um, I, I have. I, I traumatized her with my feces. True. Whatever. Why don't you ever traumatize me with your feces, Ben? Dude, I've Aww. I've I, I've been trying so hard. Wait, come out to have... Phoenix and we'll look for scorpions, and you can traumatize me with your feces. I'm, I've been I've been trying to traumatize you with my feces for for months. Um, now. If you're wondering why there's cans of soup behind me, by the way, that's also a part of the lost episode. We read yep. mean hate comments, and I'm going to donate that soup. Yes, there there were mean hate comments. He read them. Cans of soup. It'll be a thing, maybe someday. It'll be funny. Um, but either way, um, so Zachary. That's my name. Uh, how have you been? We haven't been talking for the last hour and a half. How have you been? <laughs> we have been just talking <laughs> for the past hour. Um, I'm trying to think because there's like a billion things that happened when I was in Europe, and I only told you like some cliff notes of some stuff. So I'm again, I'm, I'm sure there will still genuinely be some new, new yeah. like fun stories that come out of that and everything. Yeah. But did you feel uh, foreign? Oh yeah, no, it was actually really eye opening being in a country where like the primary language is not your first language. Mm. Um, especially in like Berlin, there were certainly places where I was like, I don't want to say like treated like a second class citizen. Cause like the people, they were nice. And like, um, you know, it, it's not like the minority experience here or anything, but it was super interesting to have people like annoyed with your presence, like just due to like who you are, you know, like there Wait, were certain people times were annoyed? That, like, yeah, there were like certain times at bars where it was just very clear, like I had an American accent or I couldn't speak like perfect German or my friend didn't speak any German at all, too, where like they just would kind of like not talk to us. Or at mm. one point, they like literally sat us in like a different section with like another tourist group that was like it, like literally a closed door away from like any other people. Um, so like just just kind of some eye opening experiences of like. But that was like mostly in Berlin, though. Like everyone in Switzerland was fucking phenomenal. There were great people in Berlin, too. Don't get me wrong. But it was like, you know, um, it was very much the the snobbery of the yeah, uh, yeah, of Germany yeah. versus like Heidelberg that I went to was like all lovely people. Like everyone there was phenomenal. And Iceland was was fantastic, too. I got the I got the merch. The, oh, I, was it like ice war? Ice wear. Oh, never mind. It's like they're like North faced up there. They have like a bunch of these icewear brand stores everywhere. So much so to where like in downtown Reykjavik, there's like five shops like in any kind of block. And we, me and my friend were both like, why the fuck do you need this much of the same brand? It's like when you go to a downtown area and they have like a McDonald's across the street from another Mm -hmm. McDonald's. It's like, why did you do that? It's like that times five. It's fucking icewear shit. What is, what is these filters you're putting on? Nothing. 
Oh my god. I didn't even know I changed it. Um so um I mean I, I haven't been outside the country since I was like thirteen. I went to Canada. That's my first like time. Literally yeah. the last time I was outside the country. It was, it was, it was so the only time I've been It's outside. insane to me that you visited like three different ones in the yeah, span of a yeah. month. It is kind of crazy. Well, yeah, uh, even more than that. So like I we we filmed our, our pot well, I got fired from my job. We filmed our podcast and I went to LA for a weekend. I flew to Boston to see my grandparents uh for like a week. And then I flew to Germany. I landed in Berlin, took a train down to Zurich, Switzerland. Holy um, shit. Took a train back up to Heidelberg, flew to Reykjavik, and spent three days in Iceland and then flew back home. Yeah. That's and then I was going to work the next day, but uh, uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. No. So now I'm looking for, for uh, I, I'm putting stuff together. All right. Well, at least you got the soup cans for the hate comments. I got soup cans. Yo, soup, I got soup hate comments for the hate cans. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got soup hate comments for the hate cans. Yeah, yep. that, that's, 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 that's true. Yeah. Yep. Um, that actually, I, I was funny because I was looking at our. You our, were funny. Oh, that's so nice. I was looking at our, uh, our the Reflux Channel shorts, and I was I was just going I was just flipping through them. I do I do it you know every so often, and I just see like thirty seven comments on one, and I'm like, what the fuck did we do wrong? And then I realized it was the I made, one, I made yeah, it. Well, I did comment. I did a really good boom flip it moment, right? Where yeah. like it was originally like just tell me if this word is good or not, but then I thought, wouldn't it be funny if people left hate comments because people do that anyways? And I was yeah. like, what if I turn that into a thing where people would comment more i think it, i want i want to do something similar next year where i'm more clear about that yeah. um because i think that'd be a really fun thing to do where it's like you know it it, it keeps building on itself yeah and yeah, then well, that becomes content later but then yeah. it actually gets used to donate for like good purposes and stuff that one comment was really good it was on that video it was on um Oh shit! What video was it? It was it was one of the ones you edited a lot harder. Was the it's oh, I edited that, it hard. So yeah, so hard. Uh, it was gross and embarrassing. I think was the the, the comment. And it was just oh some yeah, guy just being <laughs> kind of funny. But then, but then didn't he that same guy come around though and is like trying to be friends yeah. or whatever? Now? He was chill. He was chill. I had no, I had no, I have no issue with him. Well, I, I, was, I was the video of me like, sucking a dick? Oh well, that was today. Never mind. It wasn't today. It was definitely yesterday. That was a funny one, though. I'm 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 sorry for doing that to you, Ben. But you no, gotta please. understand. I, no, please. I, I I I like that video a lot, though, where it does the Eric Andre show bit thing. Yeah. I like that short line. It is fun to get hate comments. Uh, it makes me laugh. Um, and I feel bad because, uh, they're not often in my direction, which I feel like I'm often more deserving of the hate comments. Wait, you think the, the hate, hate comments, comments are, are more in my direction? I typically? think I think typically like like that one there are people just being like mean to Ethan's character in that one. Yeah, that but one that's clip. like also he's playing a ridiculous character. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a part for the course, I guess. Right. But I just feel yeah. like I don't get enough. Do people think he's real on YouTube shorts with that little clip? Do they think he's like a real person? I don't know. I thought so. When Ben first showed me, I thought that was like just his actual like voice. And I was like, dude, that's that like a what hilarious. Accent. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I would uh, love that. Actually, no, I wouldn't. I'd probably get real fucking sick if that uh, problematic. I, I do. <laughs> the motherfucker was what's, real. What's or if just, my aunt was just running through just, just getting problematic yeah. people. Yeah. Um, actually, Zach, I know you have something to say. Idea, though. Make this into a short if you want. Um, I don't get enough hate. Uh, uh, what, is, what is that subreddit? R roast me? Yeah. <laughs> roast me. Go ahead. Roast me, bro. Roast me, bro. Roast me. Okay, we can do that. It won't be donated for soup. Take yeah, one you're, off. You're, you're being nice to be. You're, you're being mean to be mean. So it's not like. Yeah, a, but I, I do like the idea. I think I want to expand upon that. A, when I have money, and then B, when there's more people paying attention. I really like the idea of like funneling user engagement to do you know what i mean because people do like the original inspiration right was from that mr beast video where he was like oh like every time you like this i'll donate a meal and that's mm. fine mm. but like i think i think there's something really funny about being like we're gonna do this big roast battle like everyone essentially especially on youtube shorts too where it gets pushed to everyone where it's like i'm not even asking you to subscribe or do anything crazy just be funny for a moment and I'll literally put money on the line to like donate yeah, yeah, that. And exactly. I think that a is good for like the algorithm too to like get comments and mm -hmm. shit, but more so yeah. than that, it's like you can repurpose that content for something funny later. And it's all for like some kind of like good, good cause. Like, cause thing. Yeah, I, exactly. I think I, I like that idea. Um, 
I, I like that idea a lot, actually. I, I don't know what will become of that, but that's like a next year thing. So, maybe. speaking of good causes, have you heard of ghost sanctuaries, Zach? Ghost sanctuaries? Goat. Oh, yes, yes, I know of ghosts. My mom did goat yoga once, and I think I actively avoided looking at those photos. <laughs> Well, they wouldn't be as crazy as you think. It's just goats jumping all over the person. It's not even like actual yoga. Okay. You can't get into a position. You just can't. Okay. Yeah, I was just, I was just thinking that would be a good idea as well. Like animal sanctuaries and stuff. You dude. Mm. Oh, dude. I wanted dude. to do toys for Christmas too. Toys for Christmas is a good idea. Zach, you and I going to like a like a sanctuary or something for animals and just I, fucking way, around. I really like the idea of. I think. I think the. To, to kind of take what I was just talking about and, and strip it back down even more. I like the idea of taking something that people like find annoying about making content and turning it into like a really positive thing. Like the, I find that idea really interesting to me of like being mean on YouTube comments, which is silly. I never take it seriously. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. YouTube comments are always the most, the, the place I take the least serious out mm-hmm. of anywhere online. And then turning that into like a, th- a, a positive thing. I, I, I like that idea in general of like, let's do really goofy things and like have a positive kind of spin on it or have a yeah. positive impact yeah. with it. Yeah. And I just like big projects too. One of my favorite things, um, like marketing wise is, uh, are you familiar with uh, cards against humanity? Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. They do this black Friday thing every year. And like one time they did this like 99% off auction or whatever, where they bought like the bust of like some old, uh, like king or whatever and sold it for like a dollar or like a car or something like that but this one year they did um the charity hole event and it was just every time you donated to their live stream they just had a uh um a big crane dig a hole and the more you donated the crane would just keep digging a hole in the desert and it was like this 24-hour live stream with the more money you donated they would just keep digging this hole bigger and bigger for like weeks I thought it was the funniest thing in the fucking world. Cool. It was like that pointless, really cool. but like, yeah. I like big, like in your face, like well, art projects yeah. like that too. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> right, dude. We just, dude, we normally record at fucking nine 30 and it's 1151. Hey, um, so I'm going to be you on suckers. Um, you suckers are, are dying over there. I get, I'm yeah. lucky over here on I, I, now yeah. mountain standard time. Arizona's in its own time zone, by the way. Yeah, right. It's, it's fucking insane over there. It, it's well, so we switch time zones throughout yeah, the year. So right. Which is um, insane. Yeah. right now we're on mountain standard time. Um, I, uh, Zach, I, I, I've thought about like what cool content we could do probably for reflux. Um, unless we're doing like full fledged podcast in person. Um, like I, I think doing something for a good cause would be fun. Like put getting eyes on like a like like she said a goat sanctuary or I think or we should like, consistently do that. I, I think that should be like a part of the brand is like doing yeah. something doing something either like silly or outrageous or doing something that like not as mean outwardly to other people, but is like, you know, like I like the idea of taking something that's like, what is it called? Deprecating, self-deprecating humor and like turning that into like a thing that like is outwardly good. I think that's kind of a neat idea. We should, I I like doing all that stuff for like good. I think that while we're not um, rich, uh, we should um, do like a kind of like what you do with the mean comments, but the mean comments are very easy. Right. So what we should do. Oh, I I just had this idea at the top of my head. Um, is like if the comment can make us laugh outwardly laugh Ooh. make us laugh challenge yeah do you want to do, do, do that right now what, what's the reward well i was thinking like uh, some, some people comment on like a, a short and then sure and then if, if what are you uh, gonna do oh i mean we will let's both don't i mean donate a the soup we'll do the, we'll be in the soup i era. already got soup we'll be soup I era. Did, we're in the soup true. era Soup era. You soup can't say era. you've entered your soup era. I entered my soup era. No, We're going to do Taylor Swift the, with soup. This will be the, the toys. Donating toys. I do like the toy idea. Donating yeah, toys for Christmas. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. yeah. So if you post, uh, if you post a, f- a comment, no, we're, so we're gonna we're, someone we're gonna have someone come by. Yeah, third you party. Do, you, know, you gotta you gotta do the YouTube engagement. You gotta go in your in the face. You gotta be really. Like, yeah, like, dude. yeah, you, you gotta, to you gotta be excited Go about this idea, okay. Ben. Go ahead. Hey guys, what? Today. What? What? 
<laughs> Keep going. No, this is promo. Hey guys, today we're doing a you laugh, you lose challenge. And every what? time we lose, we have to donate a gift, burr, 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 burr. a toy to a child in need. Each of us, Zach and I. So please leave a comment below. And if it's funny enough that we laugh, there's a toy going to a kid in need for charity in need. What? Please donate. Please, donate. please, please there comment. You go. Please comment. I mean, oh, y'all gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna actually bankrupt me now. Yeah. Um, that's a good laugh. I'm joking, by the way. Yeah, well, that, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's that's given if they actually make us yeah, laugh. Yeah. Um. Oh, speaking of reflux, we'll move on to this because now this is just self-serving. But um, we we have officially today surpassed my personal channel and subscribers. Mm-hmm. I mean, we so now we I have passed to, my personal channel a while. I only have like forty. 40 we, we've actually, time. I posted earlier today when we met it. We've passed it today. Wow. Um. Look at that! I'm sorry, you dude. happy, I'm Alexis? Just, so you happy? see that? You see that? You got oh you got God. those biceps just shitting. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> happy I have a man that just sh- leaves a trail of shit that I can follow in the bathroom. Okay, do you want to just like tell like the cliff note? I mean, I because if that if that thing is completely gone, do you want to tell the cliff notes of me shitting on the floor? I mean, the cliff notes are that for my 19th birthday, the very first birthday with me and him dating, he shit on the floor and left a trail for me to just pinpoint exactly where he walked in the bathroom that i had to clean because i had to take a piss i'm 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 sorry i was not paying attention can you say everything one more time (laughs) i hate reliving this (laughs) so much it's your own personal version of purgatory or hell dude every time i go into his bathroom i'm like let me just check the scene let me just make flashbacks let me just like not like i want to be able to not pull out a map and like figure out where he walked I okay. just want to be able to pee. Okay. And I haven't shut on the floor since. Right. Right. True. Right. So, Good job. Good right. boy. My AirPods died. Hold on. The story that I do want to retell in case that the last podcast gets in, you know, completely scrapped, uh, which chances are we're going to use parts of it. Probably not going to use the full thing. But um, so... Uh, Alexis and I, on our four-year anniversary, were walking out of a little okay. anime store. What? No, that's a funny story. Um, uh, on our four-year anniversary, Alexis and I, four-year anniversary, we were walking out of an anime store, and I had to fart. Um, I saw a kid in a stroller. I said, it would be funny if I cropped dusted that little kid. This kid was strapped in. Uh, was strapped this in. kid was strapped in and he for was the strapped ride. In. <laughs> I, walked, I walked by him. You thought I was going to fart quietly in front of his face, made a loud sound with my ass, <laughs> and I blamed Alexis for farting. Very loudly. He goes, <gasps> he goes, <gasps> Alexis. Yeah. And I'm like, wait. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, it, it was just weird that she farted and then blamed it on me. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that, couple. that's a story that I just wanted to retell Power. in full just to get it out there because it is both. Very psych- psychotic, sociopathic for me to do that. Why did I think of that? And why did I act it? That- you belong on, a, on a list. It was, and no. I'm checking it twice. <laughs> this guy's Santa, naughty or nice. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> list of people that have farted on babies. <laughs> yeah. that's this guy's the list. one of them. I'm in it. I'm in it. This guy is one of them. It um, was so immediate, too. You win Christmas, dude. It was. Im- I still. I'm not. I'm like. When he did it, I was like shocked. Yeah. The child's face was right in front of his ass. Yeah. And we weren't even How done did you looking. get your ass that close to a baby? We were, it was like short, it was um, little walkways. And she had her stroller facing out of the walkway and she was looking at clothes. And so we were so like. How did your ass get in the baby's face? He turned, I was next to him and his back was facing the kid. And I guess he stood back a bit because he didn't want me to smell it because he thought it was going to be silent. But he also just made a very loud sound. Like it was the mother. I forgot this. The mother looked up and looked at him like, like, hello. And he just was like, Alexis. And just like fucking NPC walked out of the the store, leaving me like, I don't know what to do. He just walked out of the way. I didn't even think he hit. I didn't think I heard that detail. You just walked out of the store. Yes. Yeah, I just walked out. He yeah, left I me. Left. I was yeah. like, what, what do I do? Yeah, and I the mother was out. like. And like, she was, <laughs> we were getting out. We got out there. And she was cracking up at me. Alexis was cracking up at me because I just blamed that fart on her when it was clearly me just farting. <laughs> what in did we try face. to call the last in the lost episode part? What did we try to call title the episode? He fart, oh, she my farted. She farted on my ass. Once he farted okay. on my ass. Yeah. Because the 
He has a problem with farting. He just, why I'm did sorry. you fart on my ass or something like that? Yeah. yeah. It was, um, that was going to be the title? He farted on her ass? Question mark? Yeah, from like some shit like that. <laughs> Um, Top ten reasons why she farted on her. He <laughs> farted on her ass. Yeah. No, the, Welcome so, to Watch Mojo's Top Ten Reasons Why Ben. Listen, farts are funny. Number seven. I thought number this, seven. Farts are funny. Thoughts? Thoughts on this? Explain. Um. You know what's farts. weird? I don't like saying. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like saying it. And there's a, actually there's a there's a, there's a word that's kind of in the potty humor spectrum that I that I don't say. It's a really benign word. But I don't know why. I just I refuse to say it. Poopy? I don't say I don't say it. I don't say it. You don't say poopy? No, poopy? I don't. No, I don't. I just, you, I don't want to say it. Wait, you is poopy the word you don't want to say? Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be e. It could just be without the the e you, part. You are censoring yourself from saying poop. Yeah, what? Yes, it's just a weird That's word. Not it's, normal. No, it's it's so I, like it, it's a gross Whoa. word. <laughs> That does not sound like pow. It's is it like poop. is it like moist for some people? I don't know about some people. Like it might just be me, but I, I hope I can find like minded people that don't like that word. No, but it's like it, the word moist. So you know how like yeah, like some, some people like. Well, oh, I, that's I, like I, like I don't a... mind moist. Moist is fine, but I get what you mean. That disturbs yeah. some people. Yeah. I think it's this. I think it is a similar thing. Sure. Okay. You're, I cannot believe you. You don't want to say poop. That's so weird. After I this. have okay for clarification. Now that I'm older, I'll say it a little bit more. But like, I still don't <laughs> like it. That's so that's so silly. Why? Like, you, I will say it, but like, I don't want to say it. Why is poop the word that you that you just? It just to sounds say? gross. It just sounds dirty. That's so funny. You so, said, now that I'm older, I'll say poop. <laughs> That's such a funny thing to say. That's so funny. Why, that, is, that is the weirdest word to, to, to censor yourself from saying. Do you still have the, the video of us talking about the fucking um, SpaghettiO debacle? Is that ever I recorded? Do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. 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 I feel like it's a very similar thing. What was your childhood like? Um, not snack, but like, because I used to like, I would eat mac and cheese like it was Nothing like it was like my water, like I was replenished when eating it. This is gonna sound really weird, but when I was like super young, I went to like a religious, like, um, like Christian school when I was like very little, and you had to bring in um food for everyone to eat like once a week. And for whatever reason, my favorite thing in the world as like a little, little kid was just bread and butter and i would get like apparently according to my mother i would get super excited about it and like run around and be really I would bring, and everyone in the apparently everyone thought it was super bizarre in the little christian school that i would come and bring everyone little tubs of bread and butter and that was like no like for lunch like that you're supposed to come in and like pick something mm-hmm. for everyone mm-hmm. to eat and like i would bring everyone bread and butter for lunch um bread s- supposedly dope, that is yeah bread and butter's dope. it is but people thought it was weird for some reason for like, a kid, that was I feel like what that i was weird. excited about that for um, a kid that is weird like if my child was like i love bread and butter i'd be like what the mm, <laughs> do i have a thing like that I, I really like uh uh chef boyardi ravioli as a kid mm-hmm. okay what did i like Here? as a kid Hot pockets like consistently. Too very into hot pockets. It was always like mac cer- and cheese. It was certainly there was like f- like holiday foods that were made that I was super like into, right? Or like special event type things. I'm trying to think of like what I was consistently like craving as a child or as a young as a young it's like a teenager Ooh. or something. Another one was you know pastina. It's like little star stars. Ooh, those are good oh, too. A little bit. They're kind of mid. So do you know pastina shapes? They're little stars. Like I think very, so. very tiny. Yeah. I used to like that with lots of butter and like half a tub of grated Parmesan cheese. And I would down that. That was like butter my noodles were good. Butter, butter noodles, noodles were so good. fucking good. You know what's yeah. funny? I have another controversial take. I don't like mac and cheese. Huh? <laughs> After what? I just got done explaining <laughs> how I hate that as a kid. Well, I mean, to be fair, like nowadays, my mom makes like a homemade mac and cheese that everyone says is phenomenal. And again, it's a similar thing. We'll eat it now and I'll be like, it's good. But like as a kid, I did not like mac and cheese. Wow. And as an adult, I think it's fine. But when people get super excited about it, I'm like, I certainly won't eat like the Kraft mac and cheese, but like like a like the regular mac and cheese, like I'll eat it. And it's not bad, but like, I don't know why people go crazy about it either. I put spices. I make it spicy. A spicy mac and cheese is good. Zach, That's good. Zach, I do love you very much. But every I'm time you. I know. Every <laughs> time, every time, every time. Mac and cheese is like I mean, I don't I don't crave mac and cheese. 
But if there's like a if there's like a a fat platter of mac and cheese in front of me, you know my ass is grass sucking a fucking <laughs> you, fat you, one. You know what? It, you know what it might be though. When I was growing up, like we didn't we didn't have like a a, a ton to eat, but my mom would constantly make like hamburger helper like mm-hmm. all oh, the so time. Good. So it fire. was, but I think I think it probably wore off on me. I think like as a kid, like eating hamburger helper four nights out of the week probably was like not the best for liking mac and well, cheese. I think long-term. that's why I think that's why I like mac and cheese though, because my family was the same way. We didn't have a lot of money, and mac and cheese was same. like less than ninety cents the box, like the craft. So I think that's why eventually in my brain I was like, yes, Dude, this is good. The opposite kind of Sp- reaction, yeah. Well, now that Thanksgiving is over, this kind of ties into it. But like, we, yeah, we had a similar thing where like we didn't have a ton of money to spend on food when I, when I was younger. And we, living on the East Coast specifically, there's a ton of turkey. And when it's not in season, when it's not like Thanksgiving season, buying a whole turkey was like super cheap. So we would buy a ton of turkey and like freeze it. And we would eat turkey all the time. And we would eat hamburger helper like a lot. Yeah. And do you not like turkey anymore? Oh, I love turkey. Yeah. It's like my How favorite was thing. Thanksgiving, by the way. I didn't oh, ask. Yeah. It was good. Nice. A lot of family. There. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, it was it was it was like a pretty basic thing. We we did the turkey. We did uh, candied carrots and green beans and Ooh, mashed potatoes. I've never heard of candied carrots. Right. Well, they're like here. they're like slow roasted carrots, but like covered in like brown sugar and like a little Yum. bit of like lemon zest and some garlic and stuff. Very good. That sounds kind of like a yam type thing, but like still keep retaining the carrot shape. Nice. Yeah. Was it a extended family thing, or was it just like? Direct family. Well, my, my direct family is the only people that live out here. Oh, is that true? Yeah, we're the only people that's not on the East Coast. Oh. I think I knew yeah. that actually. I, think you I have that. I have a lot of family in Massachusetts. I have a lot of family in Maryland, and um, that's it. Like I, we're the only people that are not in those areas. Yeah, I mean, my Thanksgiving was um, her. Yeah. And uh, my direct family, obviously, her, my cousin, and my aunt, and that was it. Yeah. I mean, it was in which I, I preferred. I did. I didn't spend any fucking time with any of them other than her. We played Good. Mario. You know, we played Mario with. Um, didn't Sean join or no? My my cousin he 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 joined to watch for five minutes, tell us we were bad, and then left. Yeah. What? Well, yeah, it was it was nice though. If I would have went to my father's Thanksgiving, I would have met people who were like, "I knew you when you were in your mother's tummy." I don't know. <laughs> like, there's people that would come up to me. There, so there are people that are, vulgar with you at the family <laughs> function. They'll be like, "I remember when your mother was pregnant with you," and I'm like, "Am I supposed to remember you? I don't know. I don't know who you are. Who are you?" Well, it's weird. When I was when I was younger, we'd have this gigantic family functions, right? Where yeah. it's like everyone would be there because you're, you're so close to each other. And now we live far away. I think I missed it at first, and I just I miss being out there and I miss seeing everyone. But like. My family is so laid back, right? Like on Thanksgiving, we make a pretty traditional meal, but we can kind of just eat it whenever. And the rest of the day, we kind of just hang out, yeah. you know? And on Christmas, it's pretty quick to get through some things. And then you just, we we, we don't eat, we had tortellini last year. We're talking about doing Mexican food this year. Like it's it, we're not very traditional. We don't have to worry about it yeah. too much. But then like, I remember as a kid, you open your present and you had to wait for like 20 more people to open yeah. their present before it can even get to you. Yeah. I hated that. Yeah. I hated yep. that with a passion. So we do yep. that in my house for Christmas. This is going to be my last Christmas here, hopefully. Alive, even. Um, we go in circles. Monka? So it's me, my brother, my sister. And it's going to be my other brother as well. My dad and my mom. Normally it goes youngest to oldest. Um, and I saw him, that means I'm number two on the line. He's but we open all that. our presents at once. We also did youngest to oldest. Yeah, I don't I know. Why. I think it's the best way to do it. Yeah, um, because no. because the youngest no, is a whiny little kids. shit. Yeah. No, no, fuck, fuck them, them kids. kids. That's right. I think no, all I mean, the adults should open their presents first, <laughs> and then I and then I think every thirty minutes, oldest to youngest should open. Okay. See, it made for the it whole made, day. It okay. made sense for my family because I have a lot of young nieces. And so it would make sense. Like we'd get all the Barbie toys out of the way and then they'd be preoccupied with like, oh my God, look at my thing. And then we as adults can be like, this is so nice. Like we can like, you know, it's more calm. I have like around 10 to 12 cousins. Holy shit. And and my sister, I'm the only man. (laughs) 
Not wow. not a joke. I'm the only male Man. out of like that entire like group. I think they're all girls. Do you have and womanly so, like, heads? As a kid in those family functions, it would literally be me and then like all of those other like around the same age group, like wow, cousins and everything. And wow. I was the only I was the only I was the only dude. Do That's have, crazy. Do you have womanly hips? Because I have womanly hips. He does. And the, there's no there's no reason. I'm just asking as a as a. He just wants to make sure he's not alone. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say I'm contributing to some of that Patreon content as well. Let's fucking go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I mean, don't read uh, too far into my Twitter feed. You might find something you're not ready for. I, I wanted to go through some of your likes, but I, I don't want. To, I still want to do that. We haven't done that in so long. You can surprise. It was, it was funny the first time because you surprised me with it. I was completely caught off guard. That is true. But I do like. There is something weird, like the sinister part in the back of my mind. Every time I like a tweet, I know there's like a 10% chance it's, it'll just get blasted yeah. to someone. Yeah. And I'm like, that would be really funny. I've been, yeah, I've been checking out your likes. I've been checking out. I, 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 have I don't to, even remember what I liked recently. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to wait until I see like an extra good juicy one. No, don't let him know that. I'm no, going to know. Yeah, well, he's not going to know what's juicy to me. And I'm going to note that in my head. You don't even want to pull up one right now? <gasps> all right, all right. I don't want to hurt Zach's feelings. Although to be fair, I'm scrolling through it and there's not a ton of... <laughs> All right, all right. Wait, let me right let now, me but... let me be the judge of that. Lower yep. Zach Payne right now. Hold on. Uh, there's this tweet by uh, Regurgitated. Regurgitated hash host dash chat. Ben said, "Penis." Do you want to reply? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. I just thought I was driving, and then I got that thing, and I was like, "What did Ben send me?" And I press on it, and I just hear it out loud say, "Penis." Yeah. And I was just like, "All right." <laughs> Uh, fucking the hat man for hats is one of the tweets that <laughs> you liked yesterday. Uh, yeah. yeah, you wouldn't. Uh, I <laughs> no, I I would that if I saw that you'd like that yesterday. Would I guess I, you'd I, have to know how many what kind of hats we're talking about. I do like this tweet. I did see this yesterday. It says, uh, "How are we doing on breadsticks over here?" And it's just Ed Sheeran standing. <laughs> there he is, the little Ed Sheeran. Oh, good old Ed. Good old Ed. He's in love um, with the shape of you. He is, dude, hasn't that hasn't been like the top one song for fucking ever or something like that? I don't think anymore, but it's certainly more popular than it should be. Oh yeah, it's it's it is very. Why drive six minutes for food when I can or, uh, order Uber Eats for eighty five dollars? <laughs> it's so sad how like. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say that's so accurate, it's so relatable, but that's the uh, that's fucking. It's funny because it's true. Yeah, uh, my yeah. old job sent me like a bunch of Uber Eats like gift cards for like meetings, right? Like that was a part of our thing. Was like, well, because it was a marketing company, right? And we did that for clients a lot. Where in our cold outreach, we'd be like, "Hey, I'd love to buy you a lunch or something." Um, and so they do it for us too if we wanted to do like a big meeting. And um, they'd send me these like DoorDash or Uber Eats gift card codes. And it was so funny to look at the like itemized breakdown because it would pretty much just cover the taxes, yeah. fees, and everything. Mm-hmm. It was just like you were buying normal food. So it's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. whatever, I, did, I guess. I got I, I got free $70 worth of free gear from my job. Yeah, dude. Free merch. I know. <gasps> he it's can't believe take. it. I know. There's no way. This is a pretty good tweet. The sports is so gay. You're wide open. <laughs> You're going to receive. All right, then. <laughs> I like that you like that tweet. I'm not going to tell you why. Uh, I, I don't know what he's. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, no idea. Yeah, no. no, no idea what are you talking about? I have about, no ben? clue what he's talking about. I am in the top point zero five percent listeners of women. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> so it was a Spotify rap. It was a Spotify yeah. rap. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Did you make me send that? Were you asking for me to send the Spotify wrapped for content, or were you just curious about like what you? I wasn't you even curious about show, yours. I was just oh, I just you were just to wanting show to show off your Spotify on Stardew Valley, which is just okay. so <laughs> weird. Um, now it's content, I guess, but whatever. Um, I didn't, didn't know you, what the what the prompt for that was. You have no, you have no, you all have, all you have is fucking football and and Lizzie McGuire. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Pussy, you're right. Pussy from Surprise a boy. Me. Pussy from a boy who leads us. Wait, what? Sorry, I'm old. Pussy, Pussy from a boy who leads us not into likes. temptation, but delivers us from evil? What? Zachary? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You don't want Pussy from a boy who does not lead you into temptation, but instead delivers you from evil? How did you memorize that, first of all? Second of all, no, I don't want that. What is that? Oh, it's good Pussy. 
She clown nose honk on my slide whistle until I gag flower that squirts. <laughs> I think I, I think, sent that one to you because I said that that is pretty much what our YouTube shorts sound like. They should sound even more like that if we're being honest. Yeah, well, I started to put all this. I started to censor a few words. So I Fuck, Mary, there. kill, shenanigans, hijinks, and tomfoolery. <laughs> I uh, see, dude. Now, now I'm just confused. Um, dinner is served, and it's one of those vapes you get. <laughs> Oh, an elf a, bar. From a convenience store. Yeah. <laughs> elf bar. Um, ganging up on my girlfriend with her parents and making her cry at the dinner table is holiday season. <laughs> but this holiday season. I would have been that one pilgrim who fucked the Native American culture and swag. Oh, fucked. And- fucked with. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? I I just remember. I I can also pick up on on you know context clues. Um, Unlike some people, Ben, fucking yeah. leave me a trail of shit for me to map out in the bathroom. Oh, He's the master you- of context clues. Do you want a bigger <laughs> context clue? There's no. context and just a clue. Leave a full log in the ground. Um, I want. I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you one more good tweet. Yeah, actually, I'd rather you yeah. just like finger paint your shit. Well, you're, you're right, floor. though. Maybe, maybe, maybe pick one that surprise with, because I feel like catching me off guard with it. I was not prepared that day. The CEO of the company I worked for, like two companies ago, still follows me on Twitter and sometimes interacts with me. And I wonder what he thinks of me sometimes. Well, I, I, I'll, I based based on this, probably not much. Uh, here, babe, I made you a drink. Hands you cold brew with a nicotine pouch on it. <laughs> in it, fuck, dude, shut up. I can't read. I have bad reading level. You just tell I, yourself to shut up. I, I, it, when I was doing my diagnostic test for a private high school, I had a, I had a third grade reading level in eighth grade. You want to know what's sad? When I was in Maryland, I was in honors English class. I was doing really well, and um, you know, I, I was you know comprehending all the lessons. I, I was like excelling in my honors English class. And then I moved to Arizona, and not only did that cause a lot of other problems for me personally, but that class, they were in the middle of like this big Macbeth thing, and they needed me to go out and buy a costume and memorize like an entire like stanza of Macbeth, or, or no, it was just of any Shakespeare work. It was just any Shakespeare work. I wanted to do it's Macbeth. still never fun, um, yeah. But they wanted me to like, re- like within like a week or two, buy a costume and like memorize like a whole like page or two of a Shakespeare work, and what then the like fuck? put on like a play for the class and recite it. And I did not want to do it. No. Um, and then they um, they kicked me down to remedial English, and I never went back. Yeah, <laughs> I, I never I, went I, back. I would have been honors. happy with that. I would have been happy with that. Fuck that shit. Because yeah. like shit in Mar- I, I don't want to be like, oh, they don't embrace the arts or whatever. But in Maryland, it was just like it was like learning the actual like things or whatever. Mm-hmm. And maybe in Arizona, it's like that mostly too. I don't know. I just so happened to be transferred when they were doing this weird theatrical mandated thing, yeah. and I was just like not not about it and they just kicked me back i did a play when i was like 14 15 i it was a play on africa and i was the narrator because i can't act so i just spoke you should try you should try acting again i hate acting you you know i will never act in anything listen i did a video for uh, a high school class where I had to act like a bully. <laughs> and that scarred me. I never want to act again. It's a good video. Because I, I do kind of want to hear you pretend to be a bully. I want to hear like a timid bully. Like a well, guy who doesn't really want to be bullying you, but yeah. like has to be bullying you. Well, the, the idea of the video is the How teacher... I, I want your lunch money? <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like not well, fully committed. Do you, do you mind if I uh, take your lunch? Do you mind? <laughs> my, my mom oh, didn't give me any... Uh, I wish Ethan was here. I wish Ethan was here again. We have this bit that's so fucking gross and disgusting, but it makes me laugh every time. And now I'm going to contradict the whole poop thing again. Oh, but it's it. this it's this character who, oh God, how do I even explain this without sounding like a maniac? It's this character who's bullying you at school, but he's re- he's really into your sister, but he's really into getting shit on. Like that is like his thing. <laughs> and like every time he comes to school and he's like, Hey nerd, 
if you want to eat lunch tomorrow, give your sister this Taco Bell chalupa. You know what I mean? And he's like, <laughs> or he'll come and he'll be like, hey, nerd, if you don't want to get if you don't want to get wedgied at school tomorrow, steal a log from your sister's bowl and bring it to school tomorrow. <laughs> like just constantly like the grossest thing you could possibly like something that normal people would be like embarrassed yeah. about. But he's like bullying you to like enable doing this. Honestly, scat is pretty sick. Why are you laughing? This is something you guys need to talk about off the air. Not you can work well, through this without we, me. We we in 2018 on 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 the her, the her birthday in the year of our God on the year of our God we discovered when she was cleaning up the shit off the floor after taking a she whiff, liked it that she liked it. <laughs> I'm I don't I don't get what she likes about it. But yeah, if she so wants weird. more. Yeah, I love it so much that I'm just fucking traumatized every time I think about it and I go into that bathroom. I'm just waiting for the map. Oh, ever smell shit so close that you think it's on your nose? Yeah. Do you ever, like, get so disgusted by the smell of your own shit you throw up in the bathroom? <laughs> that might have been what happened at the end of the day. <laughs> shit. I didn't even think of that. Zach's smiling <laughs> as if, like, he's waiting for me to, or you to be like, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm smiling because I impress myself too easily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With what? Uh, <laughs> exactly. Um, um, yeah, yeah. I. Uh, that's a, that's a pretty good scenario. I mean, I don't. If if you had, if, if you we should run for president. If, if, if <laughs> wait, no, but if. Ooh. If if there was a really hot woman that you wanted to to lay pipe with, and sh- but she just loved all she wanted to do was shit on people or get shit on, would would you oblige? I am pretty openly like a a, a freaky a open person. <laughs> There's like a short list of like two or three things I probably won't do. And it's like, that's really it for like things <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Like it's very yeah. short. That is like kind of one of them. Okay. I would rather yeah. do pee. <laughs> like that is something that is like, on no, I, the, I, I feel like most people would rather do pee, right? Yeah. If I had something that's like an idea that's like on the table, scat yeah. is like not like, I'm sorry. She's like, she's like begging. She's like, please, please. And you're like, you can pee. I like, I'll pee on you. I mean, <laughs> she's like, no, not on a, not on a, that's gross. Actually, you're a freak for suggesting that yeah. shit on me now. Yeah. She'll turn around and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> I want to She goes to her scat fan club and is like, he asked to pee on me. And they all like <laughs> <laughs> gross, dude. What a fucking weirdo. Put the picture of Quagmire as a toilet bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, uh, so I, I, I used to play VR chat, right? That's where we met. Yeah. And there so was I've a heard. there was a um a so streamer in my life. <laughs> a streamer that I used to play with. Um who do you get stream snipe? And the, the, the so in VR chat you can import any 3D model you want. And the streamer used to get stream sniped with just a an exploding uh an explosion of a bunch of pictures of scat porn yeah. to try to get them banned. Yeah. I used to work for, and I have no problem talking about this now because it's been so far removed, uh, and I don't feel like I'm going to be needing to get a job there again. I used to work for the video doorbell company Ring. Yeah, you familiar yeah. with oh. the Ring yeah. video doorbells? Yeah. Uh, I worked several jobs through them, but I started off in tech support. And um, I got this call from this one guy who kept saying, "There's, there's, there's porn," and I was like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "There's porn in my camera," and he's uh-huh. like, "There's a big, fat, naked guy." standing right in front of my camera. These kids put it there. It's been there for weeks. I've reset all my cameras. There's still porn in the camera. What the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, you know, there's this whole security process you have to go through to like gain authorization to view their cameras. I go through all the hoops. It takes forever. Cause like there's for security reasons, there's like a ton of steps you got to go through. And he's like an older guy. Right. So he's like taking forever through all this stuff. I look at it and it's like, fine it, it looks normal and he's like pointing out to me on the screen and everything it's just literally a the smudge on his camera kind of slightly resembles like a wrinkly old fat guy like That's very so vaguely good. very vaguely resembles he didn't wipe it. off his camera that wasn't he just that decided. was literally the issue is he just didn't wipe off his camera lens but the whole time what? he was like there's definitely porn that these kids put in the camera 
You, did, you went to his house. You looked and you just saw a smudge and you were like, I didn't right, go well. to his house. I was remotely viewing the. Wait, no, that's so weird. Well, I didn't know you could do that's that. That's so weird that it looked that. like a man, the smudge. I, this guy wasn't wrong. Like, after he like, well, no, because I, I first looked at it, I was like, this guy's fucking insane. This looks completely normal. <laughs> he eventually like kind of like painted the outline and I, I could see how it could cut. It would, it would be like, okay, do you know how you could look at a cloud and say that looks like a giraffe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what it was like, but you would never say that that's a giraffe. You would never be conf- right. you would never confuse it for an actual giraffe. It's yeah. very right. clearly just a little smudge that kind of looks like that. Right, right. Like when you see like a uh, a, a cheetah that looks like an Among Us guy, is that actually an Among Us guy? No, it's a fucking cheeto, idiot. Holy shit! He's right? so aggressive. Right? Are you no. doing posture? No, dude. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't sus. <laughs> Wait, I saw- sus? Ah, uh, sorry. I won't do it. I I'm, a, I'm a little sus. I I saw it. I saw you playing uh, <laughs> Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> I saw you playing uh, a Modern Warfare. How are you liking that? I don't own it. I'm playing the new Warzone. Warzone two point yeah, I, I, I don't have money. Oh, it's interesting. Uh, again, another thing where like I'm playing it. Like Ethan's playing more than me and everything, but I'll hop on and play it. I've always kind of liked it. I think it's good. I, I don't. I, so I, I like how and maybe it's just because I don't have a loadout. I like how it encourages you more to actually scavenge through the map, and it's not because like the old Warzone just got to the point where it's pretty much like you just get your loadout now. You know what I yeah, mean? Like you just yeah. get your loadout and you're just doing it battle royale with your loadout. I right. like it more when you have to like actually try to go and find things throughout the map, which this seems like to me. But also, I I'm frequently finding myself with like five kill streaks in my backpack. And it yeah. seems unfair. Me and Ethan will play duos, and there's times it rarely happens to me, which is surprising. But I really fuck people over. Where I'll find another duo, they don't even see me. I'll snipe someone and down them, send a bomb drone out, and just kill the other guy without him even knowing that it's there. And then yeah. they're just done. They've never yeah. seen me, but I've yeah. wiped them from the game, and it feels like it's bullshit. I'm um, not good enough to have fun. that. Out. I'm not good enough to have that problem. Um, I'm, I'm probably quite bad. I'm it's not, not a, really... a problem. It's, it's, it's good for me. I'm just saying I would be furious if I was with them in that position. Well, um, I, I very much enjoy it. I mean, it, uh, it's really nice to see all the MW2 and actually MW1 maps as well. Um, just kind of scattered. Like you can just go to high rise or you can go to where, you know, wherever. Um, well, again, I, I'm not actually playing modern warfare. I don't actually own the game. I, I'm thinking the uh, Warzone map. Oh, oh, maybe I'm. Okay, there's, go ahead. Yeah, there's little. Did you play Modern Warfare two back in the day? Yeah, yeah, back in the day. Yeah, yeah. There's, I have there's, another there's, hot take about that. There's references, <laughs> but there's there's references all over the map. Like you can go to high rise and go to. Gotcha. The other one. Where I, I haven't played it like a ton, if you can't tell, but I played it enough to get a couple yeah. wins. So yeah, I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't won once. I'm one fucking once. I'm really bad. I'm and I play with players that are. I'm not bad. good at it. I'll be honest. I get carried by my team a lot of times. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I have yeah. moments where I I pull through. I, I, I uploaded a few clips of my my experience playing that game, and I, I'm not. It's very pretty good. bad. Um, but uh, I, I I really like it. I don't. I you know I was playing. I played Fortnite for a little bit of Chapter Three, Season oh, Three. Yeah, you were a Fortnite kid for a little bit. I played. I played Fortnite again. Um, which Fortnite is fun. It's still fun. Um, Go Simulator. Go to okay. Go Simulator. I'm talking about Battle Royales, but Go Simulator Scoated. Three is so fucking good. It's so fucking good. Um, but uh, Fortnite, Fortnite w- was good, and then I think Warzone is the next step for me. I because I, I do like the battle royale. Um, I hated it at first. I kind of like it now. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of into it. Um, we, her and I have been playing some Modern Warfare two together. Sometimes it's funny to see because it's bad. <laughs> like the fucking the fucking just absolute lag <laughs> of the characters when they go like three <laughs> FPS and they're just like fucking chopping around. That shit's so funny. I think um, the proximity chat was the best thing they could have ever added. Alexis keeps oh. Alexis hot mics. Yeah, I don't and, give and a you'll shit. hear her dog barking in the background and stuff, and you'll well, just hear like little kids just screaming "shut up" at her. It's so well, funny. That's how we get people screwed because we're just all in party chat. But the thing about proximity chat is you can see other people breathing. Yeah, right. So like it almost acts like a radar, right? So we're just all in party chat. No one can hear us or see anything. Right. But then we're all playing and we're like. There's just a dude on proximity chat yeah. and you just yeah. know that there's someone near yeah. you. And then yeah. sometimes we switch over and they're not even talking. It's yeah. Someone's dog barking. And it's yeah. like, well, that's unfair that we just got alerted. You're there because yeah. your dog's barking. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't give a shit. I think it's just so funny. Someone, I'll hear someone say, "Shut up, mute your mic." Yeah, it's so <laughs> funny to me. I love that shit so much. Um, I, I, I played one game of solos where I had the proximity chat on, where I was just talking, and I really didn't say anything throughout the whole game. But this guy, I got so far, and this guy killed me. But then apparently he must have died shortly after because we both ended up in gulag. And my my gamer tag is is chemical chemical paint. And yeah. all the time I cheer chemical. Chemical T. He's, he's on the other team in Gulag. He's the <laughs> other guy in Gulag. He's a chemical. Chemical, listen to me. Listen to me. We can get through this, brother. And I was just like, no. And he was like, we can get through this. Just trust me. And I just go, no. <laughs> I just kept doing it. Like, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, 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 I like it. Um, I'm not going to be playing it all the time. I have Pokemon to play, by the way. Um, I, I'm not going to go into a full thing because I know that. Um, we had a conversation about Pokemon that you know literally nothing about Pokemon. I know. Well, um, so I I know a th- like when I was a kid, I watched a couple things, but I'll be honest with you. I was a Yu-Gi-Oh kid. Yu-Gi-Oh is fucking dope. So I, I, I did you I ever remember, have the, the deck, the thing, the toy? Yes, I own that. I, used to I have own that. that thing. I, 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 used to have it. I, I actually have a story. I was living in West Virginia when I was a kid and um i did something messed up in school i forget what but my favorite thing in the world was like my Yu-Gi-Oh cards even though i didn't have anyone to play them with um and i i, I messed up i forget what i did but my mom made me go to school after hours and pay the teacher back for whatever damages i caused in pokemon cards and i just uh. remember showing up to school and like crying and handing my <gasps> teacher over or not pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh cards yeah and then I think back on it, I'm like, what fucking use did this West Virginian elderly yeah. lady have yeah. with my Yu-Gi-Oh cards? And well, I never was, got them back. She was a duelist, I, bro. Yeah, say? she was. A, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I probably got her banished <laughs> to the Shadow Realm. She probably yeah. tried to. <laughs> Dude, she probably got, tried to use them. Wait, I, what was the what was the card that you had to build? Was it the Blue Eyes White Dragon? Blue Eyes Shadow Dragon or something yeah. like that. Blue, yeah. Blue, yeah. Blue, Blue Eyes Dragon, White Dragon. Yeah. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Well, that was cool. Yeah. I liked that. There was another one too. There was like a red guy with armor you had to build out too. Yes. Yes. Um, I forget his I name. I don't oh know. Oh my either. god, dude! I played. I played Yu Gi Oh recently. I, I had it. I I didn't have it in my deck, but I. I um, Some of your water. Yeah. Keep um, talking. I might have Yu Gi Oh cards. Yes. Yeah, so I had a when I was a kid. I I went to a camp and I got a, a pack of Pokemon cards, which was huge when you're a kid because you don't have money when you're young. Right. And I put I put the the pack of cards up high on a. On a shelf in the in this in the in the cabin in the cabin portion of the camp, and it was gone when I got back. And I the the counselor, or whatever you want to call it, was kind of calling people out, like, "Who the fuck stole this kid's goddamn Pokemon cards?" And I never saw the Pokemon those Pokemon cards again. Dude, I used to my brothers. They used to um have the Game Shark that you'd put into a DS mm-hmm. to cheat in Pokemon games, mm-hmm. and fucking, I gave it to one of my. I brought it to school one day, and they were like. Yo, how do you have a level 100 Celebi that's shiny? I couldn't find shiny? it, but look for it later. It's alright. So, I gave it to my friend, and I never got my Game Shark back. And they stole that Game Shark <clears throat> from me, and my brothers just, damn near beat me the fuck up for that. Yeah, I used yeah. to have the Game Shark software for PC. You know, I used, you might, it used to be able to plug it in to the DS. It was a Game Cheat, or something like that. I had Game Shark, I don't know. What, so. I, had, I had Action Replay. I had Action... I had a, the DS and a Game Boy Action Replay. That Where I my used. brothers got that, I have no idea because they were like under the age of eighteen. So I don't. Know. Yeah, well, I, 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 I got Bri- Bri- me and Brian would have these on a on an actual thirty dollars Action Replay for a DS because we wanted to hack in uh, Pokemon and Diamond and Pearl, uh, and we got it from Amazon when Amazon was in its infancy. It took like two weeks to get there. It was fucking insane. Crazy. Uh, Amazon can get next day delivery. The, now. That was the fastest delivery you could get at that time. That's crazy. Um. But uh, that almost that stopped working almost immediately. There's a new actually for some reason saying the game cheat stuff reminds me uh, or not reminds me, but made me remember <laughs> um, <laughs> of uh, this this new thing that's going around that I've been seeing videos of. It's called the Flipper, or like the Flipper 2.0 or something like that. And what it's like for? this. It's this little device that's used for like. Universal TVs, right? And stuff. Yeah, it's like a little. Ha- it's like a hacking device or something like that. But it's like it can read whatever frequencies something is outputting and yeah. then like copy it. So like you could get a hotel room card and put it up to the flipper, and it'll read whatever the like frequency is, and then copy it, and then you can paste it back out and like yeah. reopen the. Um, reopen. It, it, you're right. It's meant for like universal remotes, right? Where it's like, yeah. oh. Um, you can Lost program my TV remote. 
I don't know. You, you see, you could program your TV remote to it. So if you lost your TV remote, you can turn your TV back on with the little flipper device. Mm -hmm. But it can be used to copy any signal. And so now there's yeah. this different version of it where it allows you to like download certain um, codes off the internet or detect certain other things with other little attachments you could buy for it. And people are doing things like, you know, going up to like an employee and copying their little tag scanner thing and then sneaking into like office buildings by yeah. like yeah. copying the code and yeah. like reading it and everything. Yeah. Um, I saw it on TikTok. Some guy was like walking around with it and he was turning same. off like advertisements. Someone well, in the comments was like, bring it to a hospital. <laughs> well, so like, you can buy it online. You can buy it online. Yeah. But there was like an article where like the US seized like a bunch of them being shipped over. So like, I don't think you can get in trouble for buying it. But like, if you do buy one, you do run the chance of it getting like intercepted, I think. Yeah. Yeah. A lot I'll of people. Buy one. Dude. A lot of people I, were in the I comments actually, were like, a lot I actually of want wanted one. to buy it. Yeah, a lot of I do want to buy, buy one. Yeah. I don't, I I don't have any use for it, but it's it's cool to have. I wouldn't actually screw anything over with it, but yeah. I, I I would like to like experiment with it. Maybe it sounds you can, fun. Like, maybe you can like figure out the crab situation. Dude, you can turn on your TV. I can, I I can mean, copy the frequency of crab. <laughs> yeah. You can turn on your PC from your bed. Easy. Oop. That's crazy. You Wait, that's actually up. cool as shit, dude. Um, I I definitely uh, oh my fucking god, dude! My Coca Cola bottle. Sorry. What the? Um, sorry. Back to Call of Duty. I I definitely like the game a lot. Um, I'm not gonna. I didn't play it that much. I played a lot of Pokemon. I I will not spoil anything crazy, and I will not because I have a whole thing I want to do with Pokemon. Um, it is very 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 fun. Also buggy. Well, and I suggested we shit. should do like a clueless gamer thing with Pokemon. Right, and I'm I'm hoping we can I'm hoping we can do something with that starting. Very, I think that that's a fun yeah. idea. I think it's where a I, fun I, idea. I'm like completely I know Squirtle, yeah. I know Pikachu, I know Mewtwo, I know Team Rocket, I know Ash, I know Brock, I know Ash isn't in the game. But Oak. Yeah. Dude, that's all you need to know. You win. Yeah, you already won. I, I, I know Mew, I know Mew too. Yeah, you too, yeah. Yeah, so that I think that'd be a fun thing that we could do together. Diglett, that's a good one. You know? That's a good one. That's like, We're getting that's there. like seven or so. Yeah, yeah. one hundred fifty of the first. Oh, I know Geo Dude. Geo Dude. <gasps> Geo Dude. Anything else? You got any more? Blastoise. Blastoise. Dude. Yep. See, you know, Squirtle you're gonna ask him these questions, and he's he's actually just like a secret Pokemon lover. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I know the names. I know the names and kind of what they look like, and nothing more though. Like I don't know anything like about the Pokemon. I just know so, what they look like and who they are and like what their name is. It's gonna be quite funny when you play because Where's the Leaf dude, little Leaf guy. Which Leaf guy? What's he look leaf, like? Leaf cutter dude. Leaf you much Bulbasaur? No. He's like a little Leaf guy. I caught him in Pokemon Go. Leaf guy. The leaf guy. What does he look like? Monkey? There's like a little leaf. There's like a little leaf that kind of like a little leaf centipede thing. Oh, that's Snife. Snivey? Maybe. That was my favorite Pokemon. That's what I think. Because yeah. he turned into a snake at the end. Yeah, What's I... the little fox character? Vulpix. That was a little cute little fox that everyone talks there's, about. There's Nicket. There's Vulpix. No, it's like a <laughs> little like brown fox. <laughs> Um, Fox Charmander. That's not what I'm talking about. That, there. Is not, no, that is not a little brown fox. No, 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 no. Now I gotta Google little brown fox Pokemon. Oh, oh, I'm pretty sure it's Vulpix, my dude. Little brown fox Pokemon. Oh, it's even a suggestion. Oh, yeah, it's this thing. What is it? Eevee. Oh, oh Eevee. Oh, yeah. yes. That's fair. Let's see. I'm smart. Eevee can be anything. Rule 34. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Hold on. I gotta go. Do you wanna, I gotta go. You wanna, see a little, you wanna see a little fucking cat thing getting railed, bro? <laughs> Eevee, rule 34. Um, yes, I like Pokemon a lot. I will, I will, I will drop this little thing here because uh it's a fun, a f really fun video I'm working on. Um when are I you gonna started, finish your Elden Ring video. Uh, we actually played for the first time in like a month yesterday, <laughs> so uh, it's in the works. It's we're eighty eight point nine percent complete on Elden Ring. Um, that's the that's the game, not the video. Um, but uh, starting next Friday, my boy Evan, who's also in the Elden Ring video, 
and I are starting together a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Soul Link Nuzlocke, which means essentially your Pokemon faints that it's permanently dead. You cannot use it for the rest of the run. And based on the location, so if I'm on Route 1, this is, it's not, this is not a thing in um, Scarlet and Violet, but let's say I'm on a Route 1, and he's on Route 1. We, we both catch a Pokemon in Route 1, but if one of them dies, both of them die. Okay, so it's extremely hard. There's like 33 encounters in total. So it's going to be very, very hard. Um, and just like me after Googling EV thir- 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 rule 34, rule, yeah, 34 yeah. rules, 34 um, rules. 34 yeah, rules. And uh, and but what's cool about this, this, this whole Nuzlocke challenge is that Evan bought a capture card. <laughs> oh, so he bought it. He bought it. So we're recording both of our screens. I'm gonna if he wants to do something with the video, obviously he can. But we're recording the same way. That's actually I will say that is why my OBS was fucked up. I didn't want to say it. That's why my OBS was fucked up because I wanted to get it consistent with his. And my OB my the I have two different installs of OBS. The one that I was using for the podcast was, was clearly broken because it didn't record. That's why it was all fucked up. But um, oh. um but we're both going to be recording it. It's 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 going to be it's going to be quite the video because uh, Nuzlocke's take many attempts generally, and we're not that good. So it's going. Anyways, to be I'm fun. looking for a job. Um, if you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I, I I have things in the works. Edit but. the video, dude. Edit the video. I'll give you money. No. Um, <laughs> so but, that's um, pity. That's yeah, pity. Yeah. 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 Um, I need your pity money. Yeah, that's a cool thing I'm working on. Uh, I'm starting. We're starting recording that next Sunday, probably two or so, Sunday. What the fuck? Next Friday, uh, probably like two to f- two to four hours or something. Everyone, give Ben a big round of applause. Yeah. yeah. So I, I'm 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 liking you know this. The podcast has definitely got me back into content creation, even though it's a slow burn. Because I'm very happy because I've always been into. I'm, I'm happy you reached out to me to do this because I've always been into making content and being a funny little guy a gremlin online little gremlin yeah but then the past two years i've got just a ton of marketing experience and my brain was like man i really wish you could apply this to something but i didn't have anything so now mm-hmm. i feel like it's kind of the good like yeah and I'm, uh, I'm, combination I'm, of things and, and I, I bother you with shit ben but you this is the downside of working with me as i think about shit all the time whether or not it's right or wrong i'm just constantly there's some shit in well, here that doesn't turn off well, I, I I like to give my opinions on things that I have any clue about, but when it's like when I know that you're you have already thought about all the things that I could say, that's when I kind of just don't have a, a good response. And I'm actually I've noticed, and I'm sorry, Zach, this is super unintentional. I'm I'm oftentimes bad at responding. It is not your fault. I just know, like I used to work with Ethan pretty regularly. We pissed each other off, and I don't want to do the same thing. I love. Obviously, he's still here, right? Like he's still yeah, like yeah, my best yeah. friend. But like, I know I'm a like difficult person to work with. No, no, points. no. I, I, it's not. It's not. It's not about. I know it's not you. I'm not saying it's you. I'm just saying I will bother you, and it's not yeah, your fault. Yeah, okay. Like that is that is what I am trying to say. Yeah, I I, 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 I want to make it very clear that I am bad at responding. Period. Um, but I, I, I will say you, you so if it, 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 it's scratching your itch for like the whole marketing, all that stuff. And I, I'm well, it's, like, it's less of just like, oh, I'm doing this whole big marketing campaign thing, but it's more of like my, my job for the past year or two has been like, you know, people with a lot of money trying to run businesses, like not like, like, like me figuring out things, ways to do things for them and them kind of getting it, but like, not, you know what I mean? Not like mm-hmm. totally on board with a lot of these ideas. Yeah. So, like, for me to just be able to do some of the ideas is like, oh, like, like go time, you know? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's 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 definitely opening up. Like, I don't like how I read and doing scripted videos. (laughs) Doing scripted videos, I'm noticing it more and more. But it's instead of just giving up and like being because I've I've scripted out many videos and just never recorded it because I, I just don't like how I read it. I'm actually just going full force into like just putting so much time into editing videos and stuff is really good. And I, I, I yeah. would rather make a bunch of bigger videos than. A, oh, yeah. I, I, I'm, I do. YouTube. I, what I'm saying is I want to do YouTube the wrong way. Like, I, I don't want to make a bunch of like regular shorter content. I want to make well, very I, I think- effort. I think that's why like splitting 
you know what I mean? Like having the shorts is, is like a good idea yeah. because we can focus all the way. Like, I think first and foremost, having something entertaining or something funny or something quality, like at the forefront is like, I think you're not going to get anywhere if you don't have that. Would you, but I think having that and then, you know, the shorts where it's like, I, shorts are meant to be spammed by the yeah, way like yeah, youtube yeah. has pretty much fully embraced that now with how they're splitting it up so it's like really interesting how you can just be like i am spamming this for attention but then also <laughs> having this really quality like thing on the side that stands separate from it Dude, you know should we this is such a stupid idea and i i i'll ask you now and i and wouldn't and we'll talk and probably talk about it later just just as a as a thought thing do you remember like old soflo antonio Yes. and he would be yes. like and he'd be like this is definitely me while i'm driving i'm not saying introduce videos like that but be like this is what ha- this is what the conversation was like when i <laughs> you know what i'm talking about like on tiktoks you see like uh i tried to do this thing and it did not work check it out and then it plays the actual video we could do oh, some yeah. shit like that that would be goofy as fuck dude i don't think this was so flow antonio but during that era one of my favorite like really awful social experiment videos was this guy and i forget who it was but his prank was mommy makeout day and oh, essentially oh, oh um <laughs> oh chris from prank invasion yep probably but yep. like he would just go up to like moms walking like they're strolling babies i don't know <laughs> yeah. what do you call that walking their babies um <laughs> It, it, it would just be like, yeah, it's mommy makeout day. Like you have to make out, you have to make out with mommy is now or something like yeah. that. It was and super he, weird. And there, he made out with pregnant women. I mean, it's, yeah. it, he, it, it's, it's confirmed all fake. I mean, obviously, yeah, I'm right? Sure. But, Imagine yeah. if you were just chilling and then you saw the new prank invasion video and saw your wife on the mommy makeout day <laughs> prank. Yeah. Well, so the mommy makeout day. And then there was the other one that was, um, it was the one for daughters. So it, it, I, uh, he would walk up to like fathers with their kid, with yeah. their hot daughter, which they were never related, obviously. It's all fake. Um, and they'd be like, hey, can I, do you care if I make out with your daughter? Yeah. Do you care? Yeah. Do yeah. you mind? And they're like, they're like <laughs> ask her. No, no father says just ask her. Well, maybe like 10% of fathers will say ask her. Normally they'll be like, all right, fuck off. Go away. You know? <laughs> but. Yeah, you get, I mean, you get you get depth in some places. You get you'll get you'll just get absolutely railed, just like that Eevee. <laughs> you get bent really? over. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind if I make out with your daughter? I don't know. I gotta test that out first. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, hey, dude, mommy make out day. Give me some pregnant women in my life. You know what I'm saying? Second kid coming soon. Poggers, yeah. preggers, yeah. preggers, preggers. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> Prager, yeah, Prager's in chat. Please. <laughs> Can we get some Prager's in chat? Just a bunch of bellies popping <laughs> up. Like. Um, all right, well, I guess I guess let's end it here. A short episode because of the last episode that we're going to try to reform it to something else. It's can, call it no- Atlantis. <gasps> Why? Oh, because it's lost. lost. <laughs> okay, call it me at thirteen and TJ Maxx. <laughs> Call it. Max uh, is such a good story. Call it uh, me at Disney World when my mom said go to the bathroom and I could not find the bathroom and then I could not find her. <laughs> call it that. Nobody laughed. Nobody laughed. Right, right. Call, so, it, call, anyway. it, call it my my soul on a Tuesday. Clap in the chat. Um. So thank you for uh, joining. Uh, I well, uh, so we're going to try to reform the the last episode into something. Yeah, it's been uh, it's it, been really it's been a long time. If if it, it it's gonna either going to be cut up you into something. The last episode again. Yeah, so it's, I think we haven't talked lo- enough about the lost episode. The lost episode. Yeah. You think gonna, they know that there's an episode that's been lost? Well, maybe the, 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 after I say this, maybe they will. <laughs> there's gonna be there's gonna be a lost episode. We're gonna reform it into something. Uh, so. Uh, and then there's going to be, then they have like a other video that's going to be like original content. Um, and then, uh, there, uh, there's, there's a potential for, um, uh, more content coming in the future. Wait, did, did somebody say, wait, that's not my phone. Wait, wait, let's see if some if my, if my, my friend who's supposed to laugh at my joke said something. He said, <laughs> You, like you can't read that, right? It says no. regurgitated podcast rule thirty four. 
Little What the fuck? Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's the police. <laughs> the police don't show those things on oh, camera. Oh, you do that one? Yeah. Sorry. I He meant this one. Ooh, all right. that was pretty good. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye, everyone. Yep, that's going in my cringe compilation. <laughs>